everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, we're going to check out OnePlus latest brand new entry-level device and that is the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G. Now I've been using this device for almost a week now, so in today's video, let me share with you a couple of key features that really makes this phone stand out. Now the good news here is that I do have both colors with me. We have the chromatic grey as well as the pastel lime. They both look pretty amazing, but let us start off with the first key feature that you can find on this device. Now first things first, OnePlus is really emphasizing all about battery life, you know, considering the fact that we use our phones so often these days. We do have a 5000 mAh battery that is good enough to last an entire day, but for those instances where you forget or forgot to charge your phone, well this is where the 67 watt SuperVoke charging comes into play. So just the other day, I was at the cafe and I totally forgot to charge my phone, but the good news here is that these days I've been carrying along my charger more often than not, and all I needed to do was just plug it into the wall and I was able to get a lot of juice in a very short amount of time. Now the charging speed here is actually pretty impressive, it does 0 to 80% in just half an hour. So let's say you're in a cafe, all you need to do is just plug it in, have a cup of coffee and by the time you're about to go, you should be able to get a lot of juice in your phone itself. Alright, so the second feature that we do have here, uh, let's talk a bit about the camera since they look very unique on this device. Well, what we have here is actually a 108 megapixel triple camera setup. Now the 108 MP is actually pretty impressive because it is able to capture a lot of detail in one shot and according to OnePlus, it can perform three times lossless zoom. Now what this really means is, let's say you are taking a photo that is of a very nice environment, but you just want to zoom in a little bit more, see a little bit more detail and find out what's at the back. So with this particular 108 MP, you can do all that. All you need to do is just pinch the zoom after taking the shot and you will be able to see a lot more detail in the photo. Now it's not just great for taking 108 MP photos, the standard photo mode is also capable of taking some pretty decent shots. I was taking a couple of photos outdoors and let me just share a couple of pictures so you can just see for yourself the kind of performance that you can expect on this OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G. Now flipping the device to the front, we are greeted with a pretty decent display here as well. What we have here is a fairly large LCD display that refreshes at 120 hertz. Now although it is an LCD display, I can totally understand why we are not getting an AMOLED here and that's because OnePlus is trying to keep the price down. The brightness levels is actually quite sufficient and I was able to see you know, my maps, especially since I was using GPS outdoors. So far everything has been very good and I noticed that the key point here is all about that smooth scrolling. So having 120 hertz really enhances enhanced the entire user experience. Now other than that, just in terms of the processing power, you are getting the Snapdragon 695 5G and that has been proven to be a very efficient processor so that you can launch you know, all your applications very smoothly without any issues. I've been playing a couple of games as well on this device and I noticed that because this Snapdragon processor has been optimized for games, you will be able to enjoy your games at higher graphics settings. Now other than that, it also comes with up to 8GB of RAM which you can expand by an additional 8GB. Storage wise it goes all the way up to 256 GB as well but it does support micro SD which you can expand all the way up to 1 terabytes. So all in all you don't have to worry too much about your memory here, you can always expand it no matter how much you want it to be. Alright so now that we have done with the processing power, let's talk a bit about some other features that you might not see at first glance. And I want to point out that the stereo speakers that we have here is not just loud but what OnePlus has did is they actually increased the volume so they have this 200% ultra volume mode which basically allows your phone to be super loud guys. But I know some of you prefer to have your headphones in and with that, there's actually the headphone jack that sits right at the bottom. So it doesn't matter if you want to play your music out loud or have it in your earphones, you can do both ways on the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G. Now last but not least, this device is also running on Oxygen OS 13.1 so everything is going to be very familiar to you if you are already an existing OnePlus user. So that pretty much sums up a very quick take on the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G. If you're looking for a budget or an affordable OnePlus device to get today, you should definitely check this out. Now before we go, there's actually one more thing that OnePlus launched and that is the OnePlus Nord Buds 2. So let's take a quick look at what these wireless earphones has to offer. Alright guys, so let's talk a little bit about the Buds 2. Now I want to start off first and foremost by talking about how easy it is to connect the Buds 2 to your phone. All you need to do is actually just pop the lid open, place it beside your phone and there will be a prompt that allows you to connect to the earbuds in just one single tap. 
Really easy. Now, once you actually get the buds connected to your phone, this is where another cool thing happens, and that is you do not actually need to download a separate app to control or customize your earbuds. So let's say you have the buds to already connected. All you need to do is go into your settings, you find the earbuds, and over here you will have a ton of features ready for you to customize. Now, first and foremost, you can actually choose the levels of A and C that you want. You can also access the equalizer and choose a couple of presets that you want your music to sound like. So say for example, you can go for balance, you can go for bold, serenade, or even for bass. Now, there's one really cool thing here and that is all about the bass wave algorithm that OnePlus has really worked on and this is basically to give you even deeper sounding bass. Now, I know a lot of people out there like strong bass in their ears. So over here, this is where you can actually tweak the weakness or the strong levels for that bass itself. Me personally, I have it right in the middle because I want a bit of balance for both. Now, moving down, you can actually see that we also have earbud controls over here. So this is where you customize the single tap, the double tap, as well as the triple tap. All this will allow you to actually control a couple of different functions when you just tap on the earbuds itself. So again, pretty cool because you don't have to download a separate app, everything is inside. Now let's talk a little bit about how these buds do sound like to wear. First thing, I noticed that it's actually very comfortable and it was able to fit in my ears perfectly without any issues. The second thing is that I'm very focused on A and C because I fly quite a lot. And just nice, I actually have a flight coming up, so I brought these buds to up to my flight and I noticed that the ANC was actually very strong and good enough to block out a lot of the airplane sounds. Now this is very important because ANC is something that you know you just want to have your own music and you want to be in your own world and I think the ANC that blocks up up to 25 dB of noise is actually pretty good here since I was actually sitting beside the engine of the plane. So that was definitely good for me over there. Now moving on, I shall talk a little bit about how it sounds like as well. As I mentioned, everyone has a different preference to a sound and the best part here is that you can customize it in the app itself. So for me, I felt that I had quite a lot of deep bass and clarity on my earbuds here, which is fine for me. But of course, if you want to have lesser bass and all that, you can tweak those directly from the app. Now, another thing that I should also highlight here is in terms of the battery life. Uh, OnePlus is saying that it can do 36 hours together with the case, but if you did not charge the case, let's say your case is empty, the buds itself will do seven hours of continuous music playback. All right guys, so that pretty much sums up my video for today. If you want to find out more information about the OnePlus Nord CE 3 Lite 5G, or the OnePlus Nord Buds 2. I'll put in a link down below where you can find out all about them. The prices will also be down inside, although I am aware that this phone is going for RM1099, but it's very important to check out the links below because there's always gonna be new promotions ongoing that will be updated directly from the link itself. Now with that said, thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody, bye.